The Chinese Foreign Ministry says it opposes the politicization of sport after the Women's Tennis Association said it will immediately suspend all tournaments in China. The head of the WTA has told the BBC the decision was taken because Chinese authorities have failed to address sexual assault allegations made by the double star Peng Shuai against a former vice premier. Courtney Bembridge has the latest. <laughs> It's been a month since Peng Shuai posted on social media accusing a top Chinese official of sexual assault. The post was quickly taken down and she disappeared from public view. Chinese state media has released a series of videos of her, but there are concerns she was filmed under duress. The Women's Tennis Association says it's still yet to speak to her and until there's a transparent investigation into the sexual assault claims, it's pulling the plug on lucrative tournaments in China. We're not going to walk away from this and we're not going to allow this to be swept away uh, without the appropriate respect and seriousness of the allegations that have been reflected are appropriately addressed. China is a key market for women's tennis and the decision could cost the WTA hundreds of millions of dollars in broadcasting and sponsorship. But the WTA says it can't in good conscience ask athletes to compete there. This is about um, something that's bigger than the business and bigger than the financials. World number one Novak Djokovic says the position of the WTA is very bold and very courageous, adding that Peng Shuai's well-being is of the utmost importance to the world of tennis. American former world number one Billie Jean King tweeted, I applaud the WTA leadership for taking a strong stand on defending human rights in China and around the world. The WTA is on the right side of history in supporting our players. The International Olympic Committee had a video call with Peng Shuai last month and said she was safe and well. But with the Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics around the corner, the IOC has been accused of putting its interests over the safety of athletes. China is yet to respond to the WTA decision, but it's clear the questions about Peng Shuai aren't going away. Courtney Bembridge, BBC News. Well, at a news conference in the last hour, China's foreign ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin kept his response brief when asked about the WTA's move. We've already elaborated our position. We are always firmly opposed to acts that politicize sports. Well, Prajwal Hegde, tennis editor of the Times of India, told me what she makes of the WTA's decision. I think it's it's a landmark decision and it, what has been especially heartening about the decision is that um, the Steve Simon and the leader and the WTA leadership did not put a price on what is right as uh, as, as you all have pointed out millions and millions of dollars will be lost in this uh, for the stand and they did not do it for their number one player a superstar player they did it for just a player i think it is just humongous it is historical actually how surprised were you to hear those words from steve simon of the wta that pung's case is bigger than business oh it was it, it was heartening it it was uh, i was surprised um, I was shocked that, you know, that uh, that a sport would actually take a stand as big as this. But really, this is what sport is about, right? The best of sport is played moving forward. And I think Steve Simon and the WTA leadership has shown us that. Well, it is what sport's about in many ways, uh, taking a moral stand as many times as happened through history. But, but sport is also very much about the money and the finance. How risky a decision has this been? And what is at stake? You said millions of dollars. Um, it, it is, there's a lot at stake. Uh, not, not just, you know, the, uh, they will not be holding 11 tournaments in, in the new year. That's you know, th those are just the numbers you're hearing at, at the very top of it. But China hosts a lot of lower grade tournaments, which I'm sure will be hit because of this decision. And those those uh, uh, those tournaments, the the ITF futures and th those tournaments hit players ranked between say a thousand and say three hundred, and that's a huge price for them to pay. And um, uh, but I'm hoping you know when you do what is right.
sometimes life takes care of you. And I hope that the tennis world, the business world, everyone stands up and supports the WTA for what they have done because it is courageous. There is a lot at stake. But then when you do not put a price on what is right, there is, you know, you're just, you're winning. It's already you've played a winner. That's Prajwal Hegde, who is the tennis editor of The Times of India.